Mead says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. No, that that and did happen. Tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it that, myself. That's exactly what happened, though. I'll see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up that hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Yeah. Let's hope so. Power of Ice. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Attuning with Shiva not only turns but the Shiva's feet, Shiva's iconic feet, cold snap, can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward, or back. To either dodge to either dodge attacks or, or close in on an enemy. Joshua. That's cool. Assuming Tony will allow it. There's a few new things. I guess Mid's back with us. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old haunt. With the What the fuck all... happened? Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. Jesus Christ. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Kashik. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Great. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon. So the old place were, the will be overrun. were the crystals preventing these um these things? I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this yeah. way. Yeah, well. I guess so. I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna find out somehow. There is new new blacksmith thing. There, there are new blacksmith things. Fuck. There's nothing new. Are there more hunts apart from these? I do. I do need to talk to 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 Mid. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder what's what this is gonna unlock. Does Karen have new stuff? No, she doesn't. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D did you have a mo? What's the problem? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. Okay. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. Right. A, a heck of a lot hotter <clears throat> than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> okay. Trouble is. We won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. 
Any chance you could help me too? Sure. I'm not going to say no to a, to, to a quest. To. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Mm -hmm. Fallen materials. Right. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? Okay, okay. And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. Ah. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. We're only three short, mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way. In that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another Lost Plume. in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. Okay. All right then. Lost Wish Plume. Luck. Lost Wing. We'll okay. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Gross. How's that going to help us, though? How is the, the actual world map looking right now? Oh, there's a lot of blight there. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? I've never had Hey. Yeah. The, I'm not really looking for a big conversation. Friend about Unless that is. Yeah. What's that for, India? Yeah, that's not that good. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Can't really reinforce anything. I need new mm, stone tongue, stained loin cloth. I have no idea where I'm gonna get these. Okay, there are some quests there. This is the only new one, right? Sir, I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest, unrest her recent investigations have visited Sorry. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that, that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. Sure. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Absolutely. And there are still other quests. Well, that's what, where Doris is, I guess. I don't remember who Doris is. Sorry, they brought the Oretis the stone? Is that it? 
Is that what they did? Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? Yeah, where's Doris? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My okay. job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Should we be Following concerned? On some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How do you split the sea? Yeah, just you can just ask me, and I I can tell you exactly what, how it happened. The list, do you? I don't mean to. They need all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Anything catch your eye? Uh, there's a few of them. Always something in there. Yes, I guess. What will it be today? And how could but are we? I'm actually curious I about some collect. things about the lore. Such ironic. Till next you. Oh no, I actually do need to, to... what right. is it that you wish to learn are they together okay can we admit that they're romantically linked one must understand one's place in the world uh, I wanted to see the whole thing anyway Oh man, there's so much to do. Uh, yeah, I'll do these, the the unlucky ones first. Or maybe I'll do them by region. I don't know. Oh man, this place has a ton of quests. So Dravosh is still standing. So what happened to the furnace? If you can swing a hammer, you can swing. Anyone without a blade, come and get one. Sharpest edge in Dravosh, guaranteed. Clive! You're here! Yes. And the Akashic. Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back, Sid. Hi. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Oh, you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did. Yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. Okay. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Travosht, barring himself, of course. Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. 
Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. That's I may be very convenient, prick, yeah. But I only did what I felt I had to. What you've had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. Short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. So... I'm ready now. You, uh, ready for the off, then? Yeah! We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. I need to practice anyway, Shiva's moves. Word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackford? You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. Ah, what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Sure. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, shut up. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stand, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The okay. people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. Yeah, yeah. If they kill you, you evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? Yeah! Let me fight, dude. one of those okay didn't know that well that's cool well, that's interesting That is, that's new. Besides these guys, you're super dead. Yeah, there are going to be more. I don't get that. What did I just do there?
Okay, I'm just learning my new moves. Now, which one of these do I not like? This one's pretty cool. Done. Okay. Is that it? I'm sure it's not. Apparently not. What is that? Is that a manticore? It is a manticore. What kind of manticore? Oh, Chimera. Okay. Okay. Attack me, fucker. goes down. I didn't realize that. Come on, man. is did I miss any hopefully not right man alive 
You stood in one piece. Correct. I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Uh, yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Cool. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Sid, <laughs> you're even more fearsome than your reputation. <laughs> Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. Right. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. Sure. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does... So they lost the mine. I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. What are you going to do? With ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere. And more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the I mean, north, I really hope we're, 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 we can night. find right. a way to fix this. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. Don't worry about it. Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. Yeah. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. Right. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier, it was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally, something we can agree on. We hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. Yep. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? Right. Like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Hmm. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. This is good. I'd say that went pretty well. I'm gonna unlock you? some new new Even weapons. Than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. Okay. Cracked anvil. Okay. And this is a token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far. Grander gift. 
Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Okay. Now hold on, Zoltan. Uh, there's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. No, no, I'm I'm listening. Craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry, and they're not just for show, either. Are there rooms? Forgotten what brought you back to Travorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring. I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. They're doing the thing I was mentioning before. <laughs> end game end game equipment. You know what? I think you might be right. Clive. You wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? No, 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 man. He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Okay. The beast was charged. There's a lot of stuff to do here. What? Hmm. Not entirely sure where that is. I think I know though. Wish I had more party members. I really do. Safe. Uh, let's fight these guys. Oh, uh, I meant to. I meant to do that, and I forgot. Oh, this looks good. Um. Yep. Uh, let's just take them all out. Now to find this spherical echo. That's it, right? This is it. Right then. Just two more to find. Um Plenty of places to visit. Boklad. Yeah. Hey Theodore. Ah, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? Yes. What is it this time? More wild beasts? Nothing like that. I just need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find out exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. Thanks, Clive. I owe you one. Sure, dude. Don't blame yourself, El. This is their fault, not yours. I know, but... No buts about it, all right?
Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen through. Oh. They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. Though prices have fallen of late, we deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the Consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. Great. You had no opportunity to make a counteroffer. None at all. And we were so close. Elle? What's happened? I, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. But I thought we were the only ones the Fists were speaking to about the Bearers. How did the Consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The Consortium will have to sell these Bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randallar myself. Alone? You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? Yes. How kind. Meet me at the checkpoint near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Sure. Oh, and that's me, is it? <laughs> Cute. Oh, it looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... We're meeting the Silver Peak Consortium, who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. Yeah, they're going to kill her. After this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but is this what she really wants? I think you have to so. trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. All right. To Randala then. Better not keep Eloise waiting. Rondelaw. Oh, that's all the way down there. Okay. What's happened? No chocobo? What I wouldn't give for a hot Looks like this is the end of the road. Oh, yeah. am, am I gonna be able to use a chocobo at some point? Ambrosio won't help me here. Nope. Um, Ambrosio no would ride. help me here. You just don't let me. Fly, Ambrosia. I'm going the right way, yeah. Nope, wrong, wrong. What's up? I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with the consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only okay. our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you 
suggested that the regard was not mutual, and so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then, how much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. Ah. The bearers belong to him now. Who is your buyer? A trader from across the water. A most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound... unusual. No matter, then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. Is that it? Is that easy? I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I. But I only have myself to blame. Nah. He was right, you Don't see. Don't worry about it. The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. Okay. I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Yeah. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Dragon? Leo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can, but the odds are against them. They need help, and fast. Theo. Let's go. I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. I'll gather some men and join you there. Just... Make sure he's safe. Yeah. Cashlock, where's Cashlock? Hold on for you. Is that what we're calling the. I guess it is. Fly Ambrosia. Whoop. No need to ride from here. Huh? The other way? Oh, you're not gonna make me do the whole Fuck me, don't don't make me do that. You are gonna make me do that. Where's Theodore? Up river. He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village, but the whole area is flooded with ether. Of course. Just have to pray makes it out in one piece. I can do better than that. Toggle with me. No use calling Ambrosia now. It's, it's so arbitrary. Get. Uh, Let's go. Faster. I'm not gonna fight you. Sorry. Where are you, Theo?
Oh. That's a lot of that's a lot of li little enemies. Damn it. The eve is too thick. These creatures have already turned. I'm too fast. Well, not, not, not that fast, not, not that fast, I guess. Nice try. Boys. Yep. I know there's gonna be a, a, an actual big big bad, so a dragon, right? I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Looks like it's found me. Cool. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. I hate this fucker. Yeah. Gonna actually attack me? Yeah, you suck. Nice. a little bit. I just need some healing, it's fine. Ah, fuck. Messed up. Iconic vulnerability. So do those actually matter? Down, fucker. Fuck. Bah. 
Okay, it's done. Nice, nice, very nice. Cool. Clive? Theodore, you had me worried for... Oh no, Theodore's gone. We're gonna have to kill Theodore. That really sucks. We have to get you out of here. I think it might be a little too late for that. You are correct, sir. Vera or no, there's only so much ether a man can take. And that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my Shit. thanks. Shit. Sit. For finishing what I could not. For keeping. Else. Are we gonna find a, a way to heal this? Oh, we're gonna have to. Are we gonna have to fight him? And the Kashuk Theodore? Might as well kill him now. You're gonna have to do it. I'm sorry. Don't make me do this. Stop it, Theo! It's gotta happen. It's it's gotta happen, I'm sorry. He's turned. And so will you. Am I immune though? I guess I am. We need to do this. Oh, he's gonna kill himself. Of my sister. You're just gonna Peter. fall? Wait. No, you're gonna he's gonna kill himself. Goodbye. Oh. I don't know how he's gonna kill himself, but he is. Yeah, that's not a an easy movement. Yeah, yeah. Theo! Theo! Everyone loses. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. Look. Yeah. Because I sent him to that place against his will. Nah. It wasn't against his will. That's not what happened. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. I felt guilty for that. She probably had to we run away from home. Canva. We were born to one of the great trading houses. Oh, right. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer. In more ways than one. 
for unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. Yeah. But before they could, I took him into mine. Theo told me something else. She clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds. Just as you That's just sad. Others. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time. How much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the no, decision. No, nor, nor should you. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. Absolutely. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him. And that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. Yep. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together. And you always would have. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> <laughs> I know Theo wanted me to move on, but I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people, save them. Sure. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do. Ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be. Bringing smiles to people's faces, just like we always have. Cool. And to Theo's, wherever he is. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. Good. Be, pr be proud of yourself. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Cool. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. Nice. There it is.